for round two. Fingers on buzzers, teams, uh -huh. as for the first time tonight, we go over to Peter Snow and the Swingometer of News. <laughs> David, thank you. <laughs> what I can definitely say is that it's turning into a very bad night for Ian. <laughs> Even at this early stage, you can see this dramatic swing to this rather fascinating curio. So, yeah, there's a new book come out which indicates that Donald Trump cheats at golf like he does at everything else. He's got caddies that he's specifically trained to sort of lie for him. He's got balls hidden all around. He once claimed to win a golf tournament uh, while he was playing at another golf tournament 87 miles away. He has no shame gene, so it doesn't matter to him. He doesn't think, oh, you know, how pathetic that I should be cheating at golf. He thinks that as long as he's won, that's all that matters. If that's his only flaw. You know. <laughs> Do you know who the sports journalist was? Yes, yeah, somebody Riley. Rick Riley. Rick do you know Riley. What, do you know what the book was called? Uh, everything you need to know about Trump you can learn from how he plays golf, something like that. Commander in Cheat. Commander in Cheat, that's it, yes. <laughs> how golf explains Trump, that's yes. That's right. And do you know what Riley said about Trump in particular? Well, I, just he is, uh, he's notorious for lying about his scores and... Cheats like a mafia accountant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He does walk around like a mafia don, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. The overcoat and stuff, yeah. you know. What did Trump say to a golfer who was foolish enough to beat him at golf? He said, it's all right. I've got a supermodel girlfriend and my own Boeing oh. 7. One of his golf courses in Florida has a plaque on the wall saying he was the 1999 championship winner. Mm. Why is that a problem? Well, because he didn't play at that championship. <laughs> is this the one where he was playing 87 miles away? because the golf course wasn't open in 19... Oh, it wasn't open. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been caught lying this week in a possible attempt to get closer to Trump? The Attorney General? Is it somebody from this side of the Atlantic? Give you a hint, it's a Chinese woman. Oh, yes, the, the lady that went into that, whatever that resort is called that he owned, she went in there with, with all sorts of software and tried to log onto the internet or something and steal all sorts of sensitive data. That's correct. Yeah. According to the BBC, she told staff she was there to use the swimming pool, but the Secret Service agent called Samuel Ivanovich <laughs> <laughs> Notice that she was carrying four mobile phones, a laptop, an external hard drive, <laughs> and a thumb drive with a computer virus on it, <laughs> but no swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the truth, what else has Trump been struggling to say this week? Oh, he can't say the word origins. Let's just have a look. No collusion, no obstruction. I hope they now go and take a look at the oranges, or the oranges <laughs> of the... Uh, uh, investigation, the beginnings of that investigation. <laughs> you look at the origin of the investigation. It comes out as oranges. Talking about his suntan. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. And maybe the colour of the suit he'll be wearing in a couple of years' time. <laughs> <laughs> a new book has confirmed that Donald Trump cheats at golf and doesn't like losing. According to the author of the new book about Donald Trump's golfing habits, the president doesn't just cheat, he fudges and foozles and fluffs, <laughs> and once he's sorted his hair out, he plays <laughs> golf. <laughs> <laughs> Following the completion of the Mueller report, the Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov mocked suggestions that Russia had colluded <laughs> in the US elections. It's hard to find a black cat in a dark room especially if it's not there. <laughs> Although, as Donald Trump himself boasted, if anyone in a dark room can grab pussy, it's him. <laughs>